So, guys. No, I'm good. I'm good. How are we feeling? I'm tired. From all that slipping? Oh, no, I don't know. It's be hard to get back up. Hey, you guys are all going to need me, so. Need this, I guess. Yeah, we're going to need you. You're going to need me to win games. I'm, I got, I got to beat him. To be, to be fair, I play you the last week, so I'm going to need you to George. lose. If I beat him this week, I jump him. Yeah, and if you lose, then what? We're just going I, right into you, it. You have no relevance now. If I lose, I'm out for sure. If I win, I'm in. Nick, so you better win. Nick wins a couple games, gets real fucking cocky. It, yeah. You know why? Because yeah. y'all talk yeah. shit for 12 straight weeks. Well, that's what when you I was do. The, when I was, exactly. So that's what we do. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, right. We, so we, fuck we, y'all. We talk, shit, we talk shit about George, and he's 8-5. and five. Oh, the guy's, he, got, he was the worst right team in, in the league. Ross was I wrong for, Yeah. Was I wrong for okay, 12 weeks? Okay, well, no. he, he proved everybody wrong. He didn't do anything. He was the worst team in the league. They got lucky every week. Well, luck is 75% of this. Only he got lucky. What are you so mad that you slipped five fucking games? In no, a I'm not. I'm actually not mad at all. You're not even out of contention. For I'm a little place. mad. I'm a little mad because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm slipping out of playoffs. Yeah. How about we talk about how I beat your fucking ass by 50 I points? mean, we, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, we did. You're right. Uh, like, if it was like a close game, I'd be a little more upset. But like when you get blown up by 50, it's I not I thought you were going to beat me. I really did. Not to mention, like, that was my worst bye week. Yeah, you know, I lost. Week injuries. You had nothing going Yeah, it was a tough week for me. I need to win these next two. That's it. I'm my own destiny. Yeah. I'll probably you know need a little extra help you're somewhere. You're going to win this week, and then next week you got to play me, and you're going to lose, and I'm going to eviscerate you. Dude, what an electric last week. Of the I mean, it's what, it's what it is. Because if I beat George, I'm going to be in the playoff picture, but then I play one chains, and you two play each other. Yeah, but still. <sighs> I don't think Steve's team is that great either, and he's dealing with a lot of injuries and shit, but at any, he's one of those teams that could put up a 175 they just still do it, yeah. at any point. You still know? do it. It's insane. You know, like, there might be a really good... Joe's team, Loki, might slip out. Oh yeah, because well, he's like a, he might he, lose to me this week. Check the matchup. I'm saying I saw it because he's yeah. John and Taylor's out. JT's out. Yep. Daryl Henderson's probably gonna miss. I think based on what they're I've probably, heard, he's probably gonna, gonna miss him in the game. Yep. Um, they could plug Sony in, but whoever he had, who do you get from you? Miles Gaskins by. Gaskins well. by. Yep. Yeah, he might be fucked this week, and then well, and then he's got Larry. Well, then it's a one week playoff. Yeah, yeah. Like anything can fuck. Well, what's gonna be week. really interesting is week fifteen. Obviously, we're gonna see what happens this week, but week fifteen is gonna be a lot of. It's gonna decide a lot of uh, people's fate. Depending on some of the head-to-head matchups, it's huge. Yeah, it's gonna be Fucking exciting. Massive. If I if man. so, if you both lose, you guys are done. Oh, I can't lose. I'm not yeah. actually sure. I haven't looked at it, but I'm assuming if I lose, I'm out. Yeah, we can't lose. I'm, yeah, we already have no. I have no margin for error. I'm, I've ripped because George, George has the wins. He doesn't have the points. But right. if he wins, he's got two on you. So then you're yeah. fucked. Yeah. I'm just. Okay. I don't know who would, if fourth place would have only one game over me. I think well, what, I'm fucked because I'm still behind like the Larry and Joe. Yeah. I'm in a decent La- La- spot because Ooh. you and oh George are ahead of me, and if one of you are going to lose this week, obviously. Yeah. The problem is he. I is, have to win. If you win, what's your record right now? I'm one game behind uh, George. I'm seven and six. I have the same record as okay, you. Okay. Yeah. So you, okay. So, so if we both win, we both jump George probably because we're both ahead in points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely ahead in points. Ooh. Um. So you That's why it gets very interesting. Here. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Snacks, oh, on the other six, hand. Though. You're in six, though. There's another narrative. Well, I'm one game behind. I'm, I'm so even if, so if, yeah, so if I beat George, you're still out of the playoff. I've said, you have 20 more points than me. That's how it is Yeah, right now. Yeah. We have but the same I'm, record. Saying, like, Who are you playing again? I'm playing Jay this week. Jay, yeah. Family's going to win. Yeah. I got I to say, Jay's team, Jay would have had a really good year if C-Mac If he had C-Mac? Oh, yeah. my God, yeah. There's I mean, one narrative that we haven't brought up yet. Yeah, that um, Snacks is in ninth place, and he's two games out of last. Yes, yes, that's that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. No Obviously, way, it's no way it happens. It's it it can happen though. It can sure. It can happen if Snacks loses both of his next two games, and Eric wins his next two, and only has to outscore he him by a little bit. Left. He's got the points. Eric yeah. has the points. No, I I'm beating him in points. But it's very close right You're now. Saying like he's close enough that it's oh, not unrealistic. Oh, okay, okay. Like if yeah. you lose two in there's a row and he wins two in a row. Looking at Snacks and Joe this week though, there's just no. Sh- I don't think Joe can pull this off. I agree, but I'm just saying yeah, it's no, not right. completely I, I, out I, of the I, possibility honest, that he can go lose, from first to worst. I, I might throw this game and lose to Joe only to gear up and beat you. Yeah, save save. Yeah, you're, you're regretting telling Eric to start all those players now. I told him to start one player. I don't even think it helped him. What if the what if it comes down to ten points or something, and it was that shit. player that you told him to put in his lineup? Give a shit, then I'll just be a butler and I'll have a great time. Yeah, that's kind of fucked, actually. It's really it's not that time. bad of a punishment. So you're really gonna act like you're not upset. It's fine. Uh, no, I'm. I'm. To be honest, I'm really not. This is the least I've cared about fantasy football in a long time, and it's sad. It's sad because I have my belt. I got my belt, and I want to give it off to two people. 
two people only. I'll be upset about like other other three. But I'm fine. Who are the two people? Again? I'm not one of those two people, am I? No, no. Yeah, Neither one so. you are. No. I didn't think so. Well, I'd give it off to you because you you've been an epic loser since you Were got they? in here. Thank you. Jason and yeah. Larry. That's yeah. fair. Two good men. Yeah. And I think Larry's going to win because I think he has the best team. So I think he's got a great team too. Yeah. When all when all is healthy, he's got a powerhouse for sure. Yep. I don't think I don't think I it just was, can't fucking. If he doesn't either. win the championship, then I think that's colossal failure on his part. Yeah, probably. So. The draft just fell to him. Yeah. Mainly because of And me. he he was also smart. He he picked up everybody's handcuffed outside of like Madison, but now it's you're seeing it into fruition. So I don't know why he didn't start Paula last week either, but I'll tell you what. Th- it didn't matter. So if oh man, Damian Harris I wish the Patriots didn't have a bye this upcoming week. I thought the Pats were gonna have a didn't have a bye and then Harris was gonna be out for a minute with a hamstring. I'm like, bro, if I have Madison mix in Quarterell Patterson and Ramondre together. It's a scary yeah, I, I I almost wouldn't even be too mad about starting Stevenson though. I mean, you'd have to love it because Harris, like, yeah, he's he's Harris fine awesome. and all. No, I, no, I know he, he's great, but I need him injured in order for Stevenson to really be. Yeah, player. they're gonna they're probably split it, but I I would say after the bye week that Stevenson gets more more yeah, touches than him probably. So. I don't know. Like the Patriots are the number one seed right now. They're probably they're they're on a buy. Dude, how unbelievable is that? It's crazy. Fucking that was insane. one of the that this was one Bill of Bill Belichick. Fun, one of the most fun games I've ever watched in my life last year. It three, really was three awesome. passes. When I it loved star- it. When I it started, loved it. When it started, I legitimately I tweeted this out. I lo- I thought it was gonna be the worst game of all time. No, I thought it was, it was gonna be awesome. Three and out, three and out, three and out for fucking five hours straight. Ended up being fucking electric. And how, just, like can I, can I say something about the the two uh, Bill safeties? Yeah, wait, what happened at the end there? Okay, so they so the, the the media asked like, "Are you guys embarrassed that you mm. knew the run was coming?" I wasn't sure what the question Some, was. Something yeah. like this, something along these lines. Like, are you embarrassed that this was coming and you guys couldn't stop it? And they got all pissy about it. I mean, what kind Boy, of question? What are we doing, bro? What kind of question is that? Uh, I think we. I think keep, we keep, that, keep uh, seven points. Yeah, we, fourteen. Uh, four, fourteen to fourteen. Fourteen to ten. Is that the final score? We made stops when we had to. They had one big run. I mean, they got good backs. They, yeah. All right. Um, they kept coming back to a couple of runs. I mean, I don't know how you want us to answer that question. That's funny. Well, I, we'll remember that. I remember that. I remember him being which is, like, which we'll, is we'll so remember pathe- that. Yeah, yeah, remember what? You literally just got embarrassed on your home field I when you knew they were running every single just play. Just going to say, and like, you couldn't stop it. How do you not stop it at all? Like, Yeah. Peyton, no Peyton and Eli were saying the same thing. I was watching the Manning cast. They're like, okay, the run's coming, and they're still getting six yards a clip. Yeah. So, no, it's not the media's fault for asking if you're embarrassed by it. <clears throat> You, you can't even be, be like, oh, like they, you know, every once in a while, like they would mix it up and throw it and confuse us. Like, dude, they threw three fucking times. Three times. <laughs> that's insane. And two of which were on one drive, and I think it was the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's really um, it's fucking unbelievable. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yes. yes. You're right. You're the, right. Whoever, whoever asked that question had every right to say it. No, I agree. Uh, and the but, fact that they went, those two losers went on there and well, they're said soft. That, that's just yeah, the world we're in. That now. tells me all I need to know. And isn't one of them married to uh, Rachel Bush? Oh, was it Jordan Poyer? I didn't see. Yeah, it. yeah I didn't. I didn't see the clip. I think the alcoholic one actually. Was that was that him? I'm not sure. Who? One of them wrote. One of them came out as an alcoholic like six months ago. He wrote. Oh, on really? The Tribune or something. Well, yeah. if it was Poyer, then I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't remember. All right. Yeah, you know what? I did see that. I don't know if it was the Poyer on Buffalo though. Well, he's the safety in Buffalo. Was, I think they were was talking it? about. I think they were talking about in the game. I wasn't watching the Manning cast. I was watching. Well, okay. So Wait, did like the announcers say? Because they just make shit up all the time now. Well, no, they they like put on. No, the, there, there was they an put article on like the screenshot from Players Tribune. Yeah. The article you yeah. wrote. Yeah, yeah. maybe it did him. come out. I, I don't know. I mean, I'd be an alcoholic too if I was married to Rachel Bush. But <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Probably no, not. Dude. How can you like stay in NFL shape and be an alcoholic though? That's insane. I mean, there's just guys out there. Is like there any that. other example? 
There's guys out there I like mean, that. LT did coke his whole life. But, yeah. But that's like a positive. It's a different thing. Yeah. Being ready to be an athlete. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel like true. it's one of those things when you're like that that level of an athlete, like you're already kind of like, obviously they work hard for it to get there and everything, but like once you're there, like it takes a lot know, to bro. fall off. like needs nutrition and shit. Like I, no, for if sure. You're, if you're but like, alcoholic, I don't like, think you could maintain being like a like a stud fast safety. Yeah, because you be, you get like lethargic and all that kind of fucking. Nonsense. An offensive lineman maybe because yeah. you're kind of <laughs> stagnant. You also get like angry and shit. So yeah, right. But but like a safety, you got to be all over the field. You got to cover tight ends. And you're shit like, like yeah, that. and like your coordination has to be well, on. I'm not saying he's drunk on the field. It just like gets hammered that's after the games. Saying, that's practice. not what we're saying either. Marshawn Lynch was fucking sipping henny before games and yeah. at halftime or whatever. I mean, the guy was eating he, Skittles on the sideline too. So yeah, I mean that's two different. That's very stuff. different. Yeah, like totally not the same. Very very, very different. Uh, you think all that sugar is going to wear you down? It definitely. will. In like 15 minutes? No. It's a little different effects. Okay. But, all, um, right. all right, yeah. So you know how many Reese's I ate last night? Maybe. Uh, Slowed me down. Let's, <laughs> head, uh, let's <laughs> head back over to the fantasy world. Um, all right. Literally. Let's, uh, let's look at matchups. Let's look at me and Steen's matchup. So Steen right no, now. No um, intro this week? I was waiting for you to cut me off. I was waiting for you to fucking say it. Yeah, no, I didn't do any intro. Sorry, we don't have to. We've already gotten to the point now where... What's cracking? Big dogs. Welcome back to Fade the Public. That's Snacks. That's Animal. I'm Nick. Um, We have a podcast about our fantasy league that we play in, if you didn't pick up on that already. Well, if they didn't get the... All right, I could, you hit the intro. All right, matchups. Are we um, recording, Animal? I don't like that side eye you give. Yeah, me. no, we're, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're good. Um, any any housekeeping? Um, no. I don't really. There's what not we, much what, to talk we, about. Week fourteen. Week fourteen. We're right? week fourteen. Week thirteen just happened. Um, Snacks is still on his losing streak. Yeah, baby, five in a row. Is it a five 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 games in a row? Five so a row. it's really bad. Um, championship, I am on championship, championship have, hangover's real. Up. Why the fuck do I not have the fire on my matchup? Uh, I saw it, that on the train. I was going to ask about this. I think it's this. tomorrow. I think it's after after waivers. Tomorrow. Yeah. I also oh, think it might yeah, be four too. That's what I, I. I always thought that, but maybe not. Uh, Nick is on a winning streak. I didn't even realize uh, Shane had. A he uh, he too. just yeah. beat me, unfortunately. Uh, kind of expected. Had a lot of buys and injuries and etc. So you went so. from top dog to losing two in a row, and then. All right, let's address this. Let's address this. Fighting I your fucking, way into a force bump. What it is is I'm an excellent trader. I knew at the... I recognized the top. All right, when I was the top dog, that was the top signal. All right, that was as good as going to get. excellent trader. You made that, one trade. No, you, I'm like... You made two trades. One of them was for Jameis Winston. No, no. <laughs> I'm, when, I, when I say game. trader, I'm not talking about in the fantasy terms. I'm talking about in like a investment terms, you know? Like, I recognized... I saw the top. You know, like when you see stocks, if you can sell at the top. Okay, you know, so, right, no, so you see the top. Right, so, 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 please so I celebrated it. top dog when I was at the top dog. When I was at the top, and I realized, all right, this is probably as good as it gets for me. I'm going to celebrate now. And that's what I did. And then that was the top. I recognized the top and I sold high. Jesus all right. You sold now, your soul high. And now I have a chance to buy low and sneak in. Idiots. Yeah, well, you wouldn't know anything from about Hurts that. And he's trash. I mean, um, if you finish like, like, like six or seven, I'm. You may be the biggest loser ever. Oh, just irrelevant at that point, but it's, yeah. it's whatever. Listen, I bounced back bounced back from last season. That's all I care about at this point. Yeah. That's kind of sad. You need to finish with an over 500 record, though. That would be ideal, for sure. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, Nick looking wait, good. Wait, so, 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 the bare minimum, if you finish over 500, you consider that a success? That's yeah, usually what fi- over 500 means, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. It's a win Go if ahead. it's over 500. Ahead, yep. Keep going. Um... Eight. Okay, so I play George this week. George is eight and four in third place. I'm seven and six. Or he's eight and five. I'm seven and six in fifth place. I got more points than him by a pretty solid mark. This is this is the marquee matchup of the of the week. Yes. It's a big matchup. I need you to win, I think. Thanks, Animal. I need me to win too. Right? So I play against George and uh listen. <sighs> George's team, man, it's so hit or miss. It's like, but it's been hitting. It's, I mean, he's he's so he's got so many really good players. Like <laughs> Herbert, how, what about Herbert against the Giants? What's going to happen? Not good. No, it's Love good. That. They're not good. He's so he's projected twenty six. He's not going to get twenty six. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get twenty six either. And Eckler's not going to get eighteen. 
because they're probably going to go up. What you need is you need touchdowns, not from Eckler. Yeah. Like Herbert could throw two. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Because they're going to kill the Giants. So, well, my, the biggest problem for me right now. And then Eckler comes off the field and then. Javante versus Detroit. Yeah. That's, that might be a 30 point game for him. Yeah. It could be. He, he They unleashed him really bad time for you. Yes. Um, <clears throat> we were talking about this on the train. Is Melvin Everything is back. No. That doesn't matter. He's, his yeah, career is It over. will matter a little bit. Maybe it will matter a little. A couple bit. touches here and there, but still, yeah, Javante's, Javante's gonna, gonna get thirty touches. He's the I'm guy now. Just fucking destroyed. Everything is broken <clears throat> right for him. So I was I was starting to put together like a. I'm happy for Steen. A first round draft, a first round mock draft for next year. I was putting together like you know what I project people to be in, and uh, I, I think Javante is going to be like the one hundred five next He'll year. He'll probably be a first round pick. Yeah, that would mean one hundred five. Yeah, yeah, that would mean first round. That's not crazy at all. No. Melvin Gordon's a free agent. I don't know about 105. Year. I think it's going to be high, but Dude, I think he'll be the end did. of the first round. Just did. So, uh, Taylor. So Taylor, Henry, Henry C. Mack, Najee. I put Cooper Cup and then Javante Williams, and then Najee was right after him, I think. What's Kareem Hunt's status? Is he a free agent or is he still with the Browns? Because uh, I, th- I still think I would... I think he'll be a free agent, but... I would take Chubb over him, but I would probably... That's, that's me saying it right now. I don't know, dude. So, like... That last game was... Uh, yeah, Javante's, Javante's real deal, yeah. Yeah. He's um, a real deal. Getting him that involved in the passing game immediately and just the, just the amount of volume that they want to give the running back. And actually, I mean, they're going to go serious at a quarterback this offseason, right? So We've got to figure something out for sure. Yeah, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because they dude. suck. Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater's a puss. Okay, so Javante's going to put up like 92. He's got Christian Kirk in his lineup. Tyler Lockett versus Houston... Probably not going to be good, but George Kittle just blasted the fuck off. George I Kittle's say, been I hot. I say Tyler Lockett not, not against Susie. He could easily go for like a 60-yard bomb. Maybe. Um, Galladay against Chargers is not good. James Conner's the other problem for me, too. Yeah. There. He has a lot of like... Promise he has a couple of guys that are going to give him 30 it's points it's, or like give you the, the saying, normal all these fucking injuries like broke his way. floor. James Conner. Chase Edmonds might be back this week. Don't think it's going to matter, but it's against the Rams, so it could be a problem. I hate that he has fucking... Connor Monday night, Christian Kirk Monday night. He had like two more players. So I you think. need to be up by like fifty. Yeah, something like that. Um fuck. Well, I'm gonna do my best for you, Animal and, and Nick. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and beat Joe. So So what do you guys guys what do you guys think about my matchup? I'm losing. Probably, uh right? well if I'm looking at it right now, it's literally give me a give me a quarter and flip it. Yeah. I mean, I think so. Like, Matt, Madison's only projected seven points. Cook's not playing, so. Yeah, but that's a stupid projection. Pittsburgh's got a tough D, and it's Thursday night. So, if he if he falters, then you can be in deep shit. He can fall into the end zone and get seven points. It's a stupid yes, projection. Correct. I understand. Dude, Madison's like an auto 18 points, like, yeah. even on a bad game. It's crazy. I wouldn't say that on camera. I think your biggest worry is Odell against Arizona's D. Uh, yeah, um, I'm still, I'm still like, going through what I want to do with Flex here. <clears throat> We'll see if, like, uh, got option. Uh, Allen Robinson's out again. I'll, I'll definitely put Mooney, Mooney in yeah. there instead. Um, Packers D versus Chicago could easily get you 11, 12 points. That's yeah, nice. I made that move on Sunday. I'll tell you and what. And Taysom Hill. That's Hills, Hills I'm nervous about, though, dude. Really? Hill, with Why? the finger. With the finger. He's got the mallet finger, and from what I've listened He's to... He's going to rush for 100 yards and score a touchdown. Yeah, but, dude, if he literally can't throw an accurate pass more than seven yards down the field, like, even the Jets might be able to just... Do you trust playing him... Or playing Cam Newton over him against the Falcons. I'm not. I'm going to play Taysom Hill. Like, there's no doubt yeah, about I, it. I mean, but I like, still wouldn't. I'm still worried about Taysom a little. He bit. could have four fingers on his throwing hand, and I would play Taysom Hill over <laughs> Cam Newton. That's fair. Uh, yeah. So my lineup's pretty much set in stone. I wonder I if so. I wonder if George will throw. You know, uh, Tony is Tony going to be out this week? It's very questionable right now. Yeah, we got to see uh, tomorrow if he practice or limited practice, but. At that point, I don't even think it matters. He's going to put him over. I think Galladay. we both. I think we both have a. a f- He's probably got more of a more of an upside from from Galladay, but yeah, I think we both have. I think you guys are set. Yeah, I think this lineup set. We yeah. both have a bunch of high upside players. Right. Um, I like Nick should, to win. Should be interesting. Let's go. Yeah. I just don't see like guys like Galladay scoring any Dude, points. Every time he's done it this year, it's worked, <clears throat> including like the last four weeks. You know what's you know what's coming. Whatever. I'll take I'll take what I can get right now. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to ride the flames into week 15, and then I play one chains, and fucking all hell breaks loose. We got to do something for that week 15. If we're all playing each other. It's fun. Yeah, it's a fucking win. We, I laughed at the Eckler at six pick, but fucking Steen, you were right, my That's friend. like where I have him. You were That's right, Steen. Like I put yep. up, I think, six he was right. Seven. Steen was right. Yeah, it was a great pick. Javante, man, fuck. 
All right, let's go to my matchup. Remember big when matchup. I said I was trying to trade with George like yeah. way back when? That's who I was trying to get, and he just wouldn't give him up. My, my team is back. So let me ask you, like, okay, actually, Javonta Williams, say he goes on this tear right now. Yeah. Was he worth his fifth, sixth round price? If he wins you your league Absolutely. or gets you into the playoffs, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you made this far, I mean, you weren't you? able to start him for fucking 12 weeks. Yeah, obviously, what, I mean, you have to depend on what This happens every year with rookie running backs. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it, uh, yeah it's, it's dependent. It's I mean, dependent. if he's going to single handedly save George's team right now and keep him in playoff contention, it's worth it. Yeah, because he, 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 he got saved there without George's him. Team, though. Well, he's about to. I'm, I'm saying. Okay, uh, about to now. But he doesn't George, win George last week without Javante, right? No, probably not. But he did, um, and he was seven and five before that. Eh, he probably. I think. Does. I think. It, I think it's time to start giving George some fucking credit. He won by what, ten last week. Javante had fucking twenty six. I think it's time to start giving George some credit. He has a little not Javante. He's eight and five. He's third place. He's got no. He's got no points. Yeah. What does that mean? What What does that mean for? Cre- why does that cre- deserve credit? Because he's winning. What do you always say? It doesn't matter about points. It matters about wins, right? Yeah. So agree. he gets credit. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah. Mm, he's I, in third place right now. Who would beat his fucking ass? He's in third place. Whatever. I'm out of it. You two are out of it. I'm, he's whoa. in third place. I'm not out of it. I got a fucking matchup. I'm not saying you're. I'm <laughs> saying you're out of the top four. Animal, you're fucking out of it. My team is backed. I'm ready. You lose one game. Not a good no look chance. for us. None of us are in the playoff picture right now. I was in the playoff picture all year. This is what I do. I slip out right at the end. No, you literally went one in 14 last year, so no. Well, <laughs> except for last year. Oh, except for last year. <laughs> except for last year. Oh, except, right. except for last year, I'm having a bad year. All right, Animal, let's look at uh, your your uh, your matchup right now. It's pretty good. I, th- I feel good about it. The only problem... Um, I'm a little nervous about, like, you know, how like Jacobs now has, like, the full role. Mm-hmm. Um... Stefan Diggs, like they playoff Lenny's in full effect. Like you have to expect like Diggs and the Bills to have like a fucking big bounce back type of a week. Oh man, yeah. Jay hitting on a guy like Fournette mm-hmm. had Ridley Huge. and C Mac played this year. Would yeah, have been Huge. He'd out. probably be, he'd probably be the second or third. Yeah. Yeah, he had a tough team. Tough break too. Solid Always quarterbacks at Stafford Jay. and Cousins. Yeah, his flexes are not like bait, <sighs> Bateman can't be in your lineup. Uh Elijah Moore's gonna do fucking big things though. That I'm a little Davis. worried about him, yeah. Chuba Hubbard will probably get into the flex over. My my shit's Bateman. fucking shitting up. I don't know what's going on. I can't see my matchup. Look at this my screen's. I'm not. Up. I'm not. A, I'm also not enthused about like Ezekiel Elliott. Like that's yeah. That's brutal. that's not good. Washington's yes. defense is finally all right. So we'll just tell you, Washington's defense has finally come to fruition. Zeke did not look good at all last game. No, that Zeke projection is too, way too high. Way too high. I think the Claypool projection he hasn't got way too 10 high points in like seven years. Yep. Uh, Bridgewater, I feel like it just can't be trusted as a quarterback. See. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do if I, I like trust uh, DJ Moore? I don't trust him whatsoever. So, so we're not liking my matchup for me. No, I, I actually like Jason. I'm sorry, I like Jason a lot too. Shit, just based on what what's going, he doesn't even have a tight end yet. So I'm done, and he's only projected to to lose by I'm done ten points. I'm done. My season's over. Is that what you're telling me? No, that's no. Anything can happen. But if you're asking us to give an opinion based on the matchup. As it stands right now, Animal only, I like Jason. <laughs> only one man can save your season. So I'm, I should just go home. Only one man, and he's sitting on your bench right now. Ronald Jones. <laughs> you know what to do. Hey, I'm pretty put sure I'm, you know I'm pretty sure I'm put dropping. Put Ronald Jones in. I'm pretty sure I'm dropping him. If you, if you don't put Ronald Jones in, you're a fucking coward. I'm pretty sure. Why do you, what do you mean you should, you're dropping him? Why do you have Devin Singletary on your fucking bench? I'm pretty sure I'm dropping him too. Yeah, he, he, he gets be. projected eight points a week, it's so it looks I, better. Well, I had to start him in the bye week. I chub out. I had no one I else know, to go. started him I, against me. I wonderful. thought it was a good start seeing as like no. they were going to probably run the ball a lot seeing at the 55 mile per hour wind but no only the you Patriots saw that a week and ahead only the Patriots got a memo on that I yeah. still can't get over that game it was awesome it was sick what, uh, you know what that's the game of the year alright uh, was there a better football game this year probably which one I don't know uh, say like, <laughs> because I can't say it doesn't mean it's has no game of the year, year should come right off the top of your head yeah but I don't even like football that game so was I wouldn't sick remember. Uh, Cowboys Bucks week one first game of the year was sick too. It was a good game. Yeah, overrated. <laughs> I mean, it was a good game. It was boring. It was a good game. I mean, it was boring. There was like seventy points scored and it came out on the last drive. That uh, the Ravens Vikings game was really good too. Mm-hmm. What's going on with the Ravens? They, they suck. suck. Yeah, like why is their offense terrible? Because they have sucks. a running back as a quarterback. Lamar you can't sucks. Throw the ball. So you're back on that again. 
I never left it. Well, did you like see five Lamar's? Weeks ago, you were like, I'm ready to admit <laughs> yeah. that he's a good quarterback but, now. And it was like after he had five really good games in a row. But did you see Lamar's last throw of this last game? It was I didn't know. shit. He lost the game from it. You're what right. about the what, yeah, the interception in the end zone? That was disgusting. Yeah, he's making a lot of really bad plays. And I get it. Like, oh, their offensive line, they have like four injuries. Yeah. Okay. So. Where's he at right now in the rankings for fantasy, QB wise? It's right. not not on Carson Wentz level, that's for sure. It's definitely way past Carson Wentz. <laughs> Barely. Because Lamar Jackson is like when I see my opponent has Lamar Jackson and I have to like watch that game, he's he's like the last player I want my opponent to have. I hate watching Lamar Jackson when I'm playing against yeah, him. Yeah, because he can go for a seventy yard rush and it's so annoying. Percent. It's like every time he's about to get sacked, it just yeah, turns he's in. QB seven. That's like not very good. No, it's not mm. for Lamar Jackson. For him <laughs> for, for the rushing What's ability Wentz? and everything. Wentz is probably like quarterback 16. What's Wentz? Uh, uh, 14, maybe. Maybe. No, I'm going to say Wentz is 11. I'm going to say 16. Who has Wentz? Shane has Wentz. It, show you, it shows you the rank? Mm-hmm. QB 12. Oh, that's a QB 1. That's a QB 1. Where does it say that? Uh, Carson Wentz, my, my man. My He's been looking really good uh, NFL-wise. Like. But, but, but the Colts have not had their bye yet. He's going to get so... They're, they're the last. Well, they have by. it this week, right? So yeah. after this week, he he'll be like quarterback fifteen, and then he'll fucking. Well, throw. you said he was the QB one. Could have been. When? Everyone who's not the QB one could have been. Yeah. It's, it's when could he have been QB one? Any one of these weeks, he decided to fucking. If he decided to put it together, like the overall a more. QB one. Yeah, he could have done it. Could uh, he had a chance, but he blew it. That's what happens. Um, all right, so anyone else have a match? Like, Snacks' is, matchup is irrelevant, right? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, you guys need me to win, so, so yeah, you so could I could look at it. I, I, I mean, we could definitely use a win from you just because you're playing uh, someone who's in the playoff race. Correct. Yeah, Joe. I'm playing spoiler next two weeks. It would definitely help us. Yeah, the problem is Joe's... Actually, I mean, I can gain a bunch of points on Joe this week if he doesn't score a lot, and then I'm 40 behind him. So if I can jump, like... I can jump like twenty five here. I could go one and one. I guess it's, still it's all it setting up for an epic finish in, in week fifteen. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be unbelievable. What are the matches? That's the real week to look I forward do a quick to. Look ahead. Yeah, me versus one chains. That's huge. Me versus snacks. They'll have DeAndre Swift oh. back though. Fuck. I. You know what? I'm gonna th- I, like I said. I'm gonna throw the game against Joe. I'm gonna rest my guys to play you in week fifteen. That's not how like it works. You don't need to rest them. No, I'm going to rest them. I'm going to put them on my bench. This is, this is uh, mm. collusion. I have to beat George. Not collusion. George is like a cakewalk into the fucking playoffs if he doesn't if I don't beat him. Who's, oh, yeah. Jo- oh, God. He's got a grip, but grit's like... got to beat him. Yeah. Wow, you two better win. Let's bring the... Keep the belt home. I, I did it last year. You guys just... One of you guys has to do it now. We're, I'm trying. Keep the tradition. <laughs> I'm, try- I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying. Oh, um, I'm not going to lie. If it doesn't happen, though, I, I want Steve to win because he's going to be so unbearable. Yeah. I, I, wa- I want to see Honestly, it so bad. Steve would be fine. Like um, Steve being, wait, did Steve won one year or no? Yeah. He did, right? Um, so, f- talking about Steve, Steve and Larry have a matchup this week. Yeah. Big and match. they're doing a hot dog bet. <laughs> I thought you were going to like take over. <laughs> you started it. Why would I take over? Yeah, I just wanted to give you something to do. I'm good. All right, so there's a bet going around. It's a hot dog bet. It's between Larry <laughs> and Steve. Um, so what happened was someone made the other person an offer to do a bet. and uh, We're not going to name who. I forgot the bet. Hold on. Oh, so the it loser. Steve, it was Steve offering <laughs> Larry the bet for hot dogs. No, 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 I got it. The loser, of the, they're playing head-to-head. So whoever loses has to drive the winner to Rutt's Hut, which is a famous New Jersey hot dog establishment known for their rippers. So we're going to go there, or they're going to go there. The loser will drive them while the winner is in the back seat with the music of their choice, and then the loser will buy the winner the rippers. How many? Correct. I think three rippers. Well, is a ripper just an if Larry, if Larry, if Larry, it's a deep win- fried hot dog. If Larry, Ooh, if Larry yeah. went, oh, they're, they're, you never, had you never a had a ripper? Oh, oh dude, oh. bro, we should go for yeah, just like a away, there's no shot. I I hope. I hope Larry is the one who gets the. I hope Larry wins because 
Like he'll chomp through the three fried. There's one change. Will no, Lowry's get, gonna need like eight. That's what I mean. Like yeah, he'll yeah. be fine with the three. One change will get through like one and a quarter. I'm like how do you eat off three? Uh, you know I, I don't. I don't know. One change is he's kind of a gavon. He, I don't he think could so, eat. Dude. He's got a gullet. I think. He's, he? I, yeah. Oh yeah. He's got a yeah, gullet. He's kind of like skinny fat. So he's skinny fat. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Those people are like so in between. He's sexy, but he's very sexy. Yeah. yeah skinny fat yeah, people yeah. are either like people that. Um, like, I don't know if you either eat a lot or you don't eat a lot. You just depend. It depends on like your workout. I think there are people that eat a lot, but their bodies, their metabolism like was fast and just been breaking down slowly Seems over like the years. School. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they never changed their diet or anything like that. It's just like they're, it's finally catching up. Yeah. You know, that was but slowly. That was definitely with Steve because he was like tall and skinny. So like he never works out super high. He played yeah. quarterback. So yeah. he was like right an right athlete. So it all just like yeah. shed off him all the time. And now, I mean, he hasn't been an athlete in like 20 years yeah. at this point, but. I don't know, dude. Actually, wow, that's crazy. Pushing twenty years that he hasn't been an athlete. Is that actually real? That was just like I mean, he graduated was, what two thousand seven? I don't know. That was for such dramatic effect. There was like such an over obnoxious overstatement by me that I didn't realize it was. Almost well, no, I'm curious because he's like five years older than me, and I just had my ten year reunion last week. He's got to be more than five years older than you, because probably I, I yeah, was in, yeah. So I was in seventh grade, yeah. I think, when he was a senior. So twenty years is close. Holy fuck. Damn, Steve. 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 We need to get fucking old, we're gonna Steve. Get, we're going to need to get Steve in the combine next year so he can call himself an athlete again. He's a great host, though. Great what? Great host of the combine. What do you mean? Oh, of the combine. Combine yeah. host, yeah. So you meant like he like hosts you guys. At, what? No, no. He wouldn't host us if we uh, paid him. Um. Yeah. Animal. That's all I got. I'm rooting for you guys. I hope one of you guys win the title. No, you don't. You literally I was, said there's two people you wanted to win and you don't want us to win. I was pretty, yeah. We were not either of the people of that you chose to win. Of course. And it, yeah. Those are always my favorites, though. Jason you know what it is? My, that's, always. That's the always. RJ. That's the RJ. Mm -hmm. What's the RJ? That's you a, don't want us. That's, that's RJ. Why would I us. not Why would I not want the title to be on the show? That's what you I'm don't saying. want either RJ. All right. You got, you know what? Just because you all rooted against me last year doesn't mean I'm rooting against you. It's not true. I rooted for you. You beat me, and then I rooted for... I didn't want Shane to win it two years in a row, or whatever the fuck he did. No, that didn't count. Two of the first three years. I mean, it didn't count. Still, I was rooting for crazy. you. I was more crazy. rooting against Shane than I was rooting for you. 56 points from Alvin Kamara. I, the, the championship hangover really just killed me this year. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. I've been... I haven't paid attention to, like, any of my leagues outside of you, Tanya. You know, I... I I've been starting players, like, in leagues where I'm in playoff contention, I've been putting zeros up in my lineup. I Dude, I started Daryl Henderson fucking Dude, this week. I, I, and in, and like, a league I where I'm, like, fighting for sixth. I was telling Animal <laughs> on the train, on my mother, I have never, like, this year I have probably gone, like, four or five weeks in all my fantasy leagues, didn't even... Bother I looking. I know it's it got bad. Like going this year. going to Giants games has killed me because I don't even look. Mm -hmm. And then just when they're not when I'm not at Giants games, I'm drinking at ten o'clock because I can't bear to watch them. <laughs> so I need to just get it over with. And I don't even look. I'll text you guys like, "How am I doing?" And I'm not even kidding. I don't yeah, and then look. I don't even. Look. I don't look. I don't look at your game but, either. But after the <laughs> draft, I fucking loved my team, which yeah. is crazy. I thought, you, it. I thought it's not team. crazy. You feel like you do that every year. No, no, no last no. year I, I hated thought, it. I thought your team was great this year. I, I hated too. my team last year. I was like, hopefully Jonathan Taylor takes over, and if that's the case, then yeah, I, I'll feel good. But that didn't happen until like week thirteen when I took off. This year, I loved it, loved it. Damn, I was in a dynasty league last year. Uh, there was a dynasty league I was in. It was the first ever like big dogs subscriber league, and I won the dynasty league. And my team, and I ended up disbanding it because I was like, I, I have too many dynasty leagues. Like, I won and I'm allowed to be like, I don't want to do this anymore because I was like the top person, you know? Yeah. Right. That team, looking back on it now, though, the team had like Killing Jonathan it. Taylor. Yeah, like so many good fucking players. I'm like, I should have just ran it back. Should have ran it back. Yeah, it's oh, money. real quick, if we want to, I know we uh, talk about E-Town, but we are in a dynasty league, all three of us together. NYC. Noah's in it, Scott's in it. Yeah. What it do? I'm oh, yeah, let's just we ban are, the shit out of all, We are all in a playoff hunt. Oh, I was gonna say this. Just if, <laughs> if you look at my team right now, if you we went very team, different routes there. I'm the, I'm, I know what you're gonna say because I feel the same way. My team is terrible. I don't know how I'm well, yeah, because my team is made up of like DeAndre Swift, Miles Sanders, Cam Akers, uh, Calvin Ridley, Debo Samuel, Julio Jones. It, like every one of my good players is out right now. Yeah. There's like there's no way I win a playoff. My match. team's awesome, but I still hate that league. At full strength, I should be. Yeah, that league is fucking terrible. I think we should disband it. I'm I'm probably down with that after this year. Yeah. Gorgeous. I think I'm only because half the league doesn't set their fucking lineup, that's, and that's the problem. I think that's I'm going to disband. I have every... like four wins on guys that just didn't. 
Well, well, it's kind of it's wonderful. What was it? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, but it's like I, I won a game fifty six to forty nine. It's basically a league with six. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, fifty six yeah. to forty nine. Yeah, yeah. Fucking six Pierce man put league. Up 50, Pierce had Todd Gurley in his starting well, line. I, 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 I yeah, it's it. a fucking six man league. It's stupid. Yeah, Ninety four to seventy three. All right, I, I need to find this lineup. Hold on. Um, I need to just I need to wipe all of my dynasty leagues completely clean except for fade. Um, go fade me. Okay, so week seven of a dynasty league, I won. 54 to 41. It's a good game. Was that in? What, what was the game? over? <laughs> you guys hit Literally, the over? I won 54 to 41. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pierce has had Todd Gurley just sitting in his lineup. And that <laughs> was you had Eckler. You had four, five players on by. That, that, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's what I was talking about before. Like, I go to Giants games. I don't even look at this shit. Oh I don't God. check my phone. <laughs> five guys on 54 by. 54 to 41. And I think won. I needed the Monday night game. Who was it? Uh, oh shit. I remember needing like four points on Monday night. <laughs> so ridiculous. It, it, legit ridiculous. But, I mean, that's kind of electric either way. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I'd have been pumped when I looked on Monday. <laughs> like I can win this game. It was, when I saw it was like 30, it was like 37 to 41. I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me, Nick? How you that, doing, uh, Krabby Patty? Ah, I'm out. You're out. I love, look, Kamara's been out. Ridley was hurt, so that's like my the NYC league. We're gonna do. I was I was like six and two to start the year. I've lost. I was like you in E Town. I've dropped like six in a row because yeah. my entire team was of Just guys that haven't played for. Like so I'm, I'm in a, I'm in another one, which is actually a nice payout too. It's a good 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 hefty buy in, and um, I traded I traded Kelsey for Fournette, uh, Freemith. How do you pronounce his name? Uh, the Steelers tight end, Firemuth. And Gallup. So, and now I, I've won three in a row after that trade, and I'm in fourth place. There you go. What is six teams, so it looks good. Emma, what, you're in another redraft league with your other friends, right? Yeah, I suck right now because I have fucking... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had, like, Sky's Ridley. Sky's blue. I, oh, no, I, I had Ridley, and um, you know what it is? I keep forgetting to start Pollard. I have Pollard in that league. I was, like, stun, I was telling them, Trent, I was stun Larry. Like, I say. forgot to put him in my lineup because of the Thursday night game. Like, that's yeah. when they played. And I was like, I forgot to start him the last week. And he, like, went off. I was like, oh, it was it Thanksgiving? They have two Thursday games in a row. Back to yeah. back, yeah. That's yeah. why I fucking... Thanksgiving, two, and then they went I Thursday fucking have lost the past two weeks because I just didn't start Pollard. And, like, I had, like, Melvin Gordon. I had to start Jeff Wilson. Got me zero it's points. It's not an excuse at all. Moralist, it's the fucking moral, excuse uh, I'm using. Jeff, Jeff Wilson's <laughs> also the biggest fucking fraud in the world, too. But Yeah. Moral, I stashed that fucking piece of shit on my bench story, for, like, six weeks. Moral of the story. He's coming back from the pub. He's going to be good. He's not good. He sucks. Elijah Mitchell's just the goat. He's really player. good. Elijah Mitchell's really good. I That's dropped him in the fourth I, round I of the watched, Go Fade I Me. Wa- That's, ah, see, Fucking see sharp. you know what? This offseason, I'm going to meditate, and I'm going to remember my my football, how I used to watch. I think I've watched, like, nine football games outside of Giant games. And the Giants are 4-8. I just, I don't know what's going on. That's my problem. Maybe you should stop being a Giants fan. Ooh. No, 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 never, never. I'd rather die than stop being a Giant fan. I'll tell you what, it's going to happen one day. They're going to kill you, so. No, I know, and I was really upset because, like, the uh, when uh, you, Actually, when it was, it's going to happen a lot sooner than you think because the murder bat ain't looking too good for you, by oh, the way. Oh, please kill me. No, it's I'm not dead. looking too good. I got two games on you right now. What do you guys got? We got four. Four wins, baby. Four wins. We're at six. So, when... I got when two games when on the Nick murder was, bat sitting pretty. Play, when Nick was playing Larry on Monday night, and he's, like, texting us, like, what's going on? I'm like, I, I have no idea what's going on. I think I was catching up on Succession. And then I turned it on, I'm like, oh, shit, wow. And then I looked at the match, I'm like, oh, wow, holy shit. I missed this whole awesome extravaganza of a game. Yeah. I just, I'm just not watching football. It's terrible. I, I got to You're like stop. in my fucking zone now. Yeah, no, I am. I've stopped watching am, like man. Monday and Sunday night games if they don't pertain this to This is me. the year that it finally hit me, like fantasy. I, I'll always love it. I'll always love football. But this year, just really, I'm like, ugh. Ugh. It's taking I got time. a, um. It's okay, though. I'm going to meditate this year. I'm gonna meditate this off season. I'm gonna come back and win do like multiple championships next year and a Super Bowl too. Right. One, because uh, I have a plan for the Giants. If one last thing, I think um, it's a little unrelated, but I got a, I got a movie recommendation the other day from someone, and I was like, you know what? I needed a movie to watch. I'm gonna go watch it. And the way they described it to me was, hold on, wait till you hear this one. That's how stupid this one's gonna be, TJ. Hold on. Someone pitched me on a movie or well, this group chat I'm in. And uh, this is what they said. They said, by the way, highly recommend 8-Bit Christmas on HBO Max. It's a crossover 
Thanks for listening. Between <laughs> Stranger Things and A Christmas Story, oh I God. think it'll become an instant classic. What's it called? 8 Bit Christmas? 8 Bit Christmas. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to come back for that one. Well, this, this, Christmas, say it again. This is. They said it. It's a crossover between Stranger Things and a Christmas Story. I think it'll become an instant classic. Yeah, the Christmas Story is when the kid gets his tongue stuck on the pole, right? Yes. So Did that, you watch this? So then I went. I was like, you know what? That sounds like that's a good pitch. I'm going to fucking watch this. Horrible pitch. And then I also went and I was checked the cast. Neil Patrick Harris. I'm like, oh fuck yeah, I'm in. It, this movie sucked. It's, I, I hated it. I do. I need to know if it was just me, though. I need to know if it was just me. So that's why I want you guys. You're more of a Christmas movie type of, of people. Based on everything you've like pitched and said, no shot I would have watched that. And no shot I would have... The fact that you had expectations for it to be good was out of control. Well, I mean... The Stranger Things Christmas about story. Being a good investor, bu- fucking buying low and selling high over here. That if you invested in that shit, I'm just saying it was. You know, I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, I didn't like it. <laughs> so, uh, if anyone has seen it, let me know in the comments. Uh, Snacks would take us out, but right now he's, I think he's taking himself himself out. So, uh, I guess we'll uh, pretty much end on that note. Uh, Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs>